Are we in? We're good? Nice. Welcome back to the shop. It is your boy Nas, and today we find ourselves in another 20 degree dreary Minnesota day. So we're gonna continue this theme of indoor projects. And as we worked on the duck pond the other day, it is finished, everything should be ready to go. And I did end up by changing this drain out from that boiler spigot to a two inch drain. Mostly because of the debris, let's be honest, gonna be duck shit that's gonna be in this pond. So with all that said, let me go ahead and show you guys today's project. So the wife and I ended up at Tractor Supply, picked up two 10 gallon storage cans. We're gonna use one for water and one for food. But this being galvanized steel, and of course it's rolled, I wanna make sure that I go ahead and JB weld all the cracks and seams on the water one, and then of course the food one, we won't have to worry about that. So first up, let's go and start sealing the cracks on the water can. Now if you haven't worked with JB weld before, this is God's gift to the planet. God, I love the fact that these just come in pre-sized tubes or pre-measured tubes. Now with this one in particular, we've gotta be pretty fast. This is the quick set, which does start to harden around six minutes. If you've never had the pleasure of smelling JB Weld, I suggest you don't. So all I'm doing here is just filling in this bottom crack just to make sure that there's just enough JB Weld in there that's gonna seal it off. And make sure that there isn't any leaks for that water to get through. Now more than likely this can would have been just fine without it, but I don't want to have it filled up and a couple of months later start to see it leak. That should be more than enough. Now a little more testament to JB Weld's durability and ability to overlast or outlast caulk or anything like that is I have used JB, JB Weld actually currently as an emergency fix on the top end of one of my dirt bikes. And it got to the point where I've used it for so long as it is with the jug JB Welded that at this point, I'm just waiting for it to break so I can fix it, and it simply hasn't. Now that we've got an application that's this thin in particular, that should be just fine. So what I'm gonna do in the meantime is use the spigot that I didn't use on the duck pond, and I'm going to throw it on the water feeder. Bam, now this is just gonna make it that much easier to fill. I'm gonna hook a hose up to it permanently, and that way you just turn the spigot on to fill it up. Turn it off, turn it off. As simple as that. This tool is one of my most used tools, one of my most loved tools, and that right there is a hole punch or a drill set. Make this one. This is Starrat. This is number 18-8. Never had it fail on me, not once. It's been perfect through all the abuse that I've put it through. And believe me, any man that's got a pokey stick will tell you that you'll put it through abuse. Step drill bit. Just like that, we've got an easy fill system. Let's go and throw that adapter on there. That way we've got a female to female adapter. Go ahead and plug that hose in, not have any issues. So something that I noticed is this makes it sit just a punt hair too high. So I'm gonna go ahead and make these little spots, little divots. Just to go ahead and bring it on up. That way everything sits even. Now 
right here was the initial on-off valve that I was gonna use for the five gallon bucket, and that's gonna be for the water. So it's got an O-ring here, they are plastic, so that means we will have to seal uh, these when we go ahead and put this inside the metal. And then we've got these wing nuts right there at the bottom. So that'll go ahead and sit on the inside, get it nice and snug. But I think these were initially meant for five gallon buckets so that the build quality isn't perfect. Looks like they're just twisted on. Right here, you got these channels. Yeah, these are definitely <laughs> on the lower end of the spectrum in terms of quality, but they'll have to do for now. Probably have to put, man, I want to say at least four. But just to be sure on the sizing of this, go and test it out. 23 64 I'm not sure if I have a bit for that. That'd be perfect because we could just thread it right on in and not have to worry about a sealer. Let's give it a shot. Now these drill bits were actually my uncle's. He used to work at 3M. He was a tool and die maker. Let's go and take a look. Now, of course, the beautiful thing about having something that's American made, especially that's local here in St. Paul, is that they last forever. It's difficult to do now. Price of commodities, price of materials, all that stuff. There's the exact one we need, 2364. Let's go and put it to the test. All right guys, so real quick, just a little bit of magic of editing. It has been about a week or so, and uh, at this point we do have the ducks. I'm using the pond basically as a little coop for them until they're able to go outside into their actual enclosure. With that said, let's go and test out this water dispenser and see how it works. This is the first day of sun that I've seen in our state literally in about a month and a half. This is pretty ridiculous. If you take a look inside, you can see that I did seal those off with JB Weld. Those little water dispensers should work fine. I actually haven't filled it up since the first day that we built it. Here we go. That's all the way on, perfect. Now the goal here is pretty obvious. I just don't want this thing to leak. Give it a shot. Functionally, I think this came out absolutely great. I'm super impressed with this. All right, guys, now with that project over for now, I wanna thank y'all for taking the time to hang out with me in the shop. I'm out.